at this very moment, I realize I done fuck. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nigel. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Ruby Cousins of Pearl. Today, I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the 4D RC F3 Nike Drill. But before I proceed with that, I will ask you guys to please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I have some merchandise available at repercussionsapparel.com. The Nike drone that I'm unboxing today is one of those items. As well, I'm an author and writer. I have a book that's out there. It's called, Repercuss it's called Repercussions. What happens in the dark will come to light. All this repercussion stuff, right? But yes, that's it. And it's available on Google Books. You can Google it, repercussions, what happens in the dark will come to light. We're also, you know, going to have some big things going on with that. Possibly made into a movie. You know, something I suppose. Hmm, we'll see. Just stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated so you can see what I got going on with that. But first and foremost, here we go. The 4D RC. Not to draw. Get this right here to switch from. Oh, that's not fair. I'm trying to get this to switch over. I don't think it's going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to resume. Okay, here we go. This is the 4D RC F3 Nike Drill. And I actually got this <clears throat> from our website repercussionsapparel.com I'm going to have to get some more. The only one I think I had left, but I will check it out. And it comes in a case with a handle on it and everything. I like how you look when I had first. I got it and everything. I checked it out. Looked at it and everything. I said, man, this is neat. You know how they have this up in here. Um, it's a couple of things that you guys have to be aware of with the drone. When you first get it, it's first and foremost, definitely charge the batteries. Specifically with the charger cable that it came, that it came with because it shows you <clears throat> the indicator light when it's actually charged. I've seen and known some people from watching it on YouTube that they still try to use other chargers, but they were unaware when their batteries was fully charged and they thought that their um, batteries were charging. But it takes like two and a half, honestly, for me, two and a half to three hours. I try to use other USB cables until my demise. Nothing happened until I actually use this specific cable right here. And what it does is that it has a red light and a green flashing light to let you know that it's charging. And once it's done charging, um, it has a steady green LED light. Now, sometimes if you try to unplug the drone, the USB uh, charging cable to the battery or whatever, and plug it back in, it would appear to be that it's fully charged, but you would have to actually unplug it from the wall, plug it back into the wall, and then plug in the charger to the battery. I noticed a couple of things like that myself to where I thought it was charged, and no, it wasn't. But this is what it looks like. I will actually extend the arms out for you guys and everything so you guys can see what's really going on with this drum. It's 248 grams or something like that. It's a very light drone. I had to do it like this because I didn't have no, no help or anything like that. So let me see if I can get this in right. You guys probably can see me. Right, probably don't know if I can get it going right. <laughs> but yeah, you have to do the rear legs first. Like so. And I already have the battery in. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much how that is right there with that. Um, I tried flying it and everything, and uh, the batteries weren't charged enough, so I had to actually charge them. It took me like almost eight hours to charge all three of those batteries. I'm not going to lie, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out here. I'm going to get ready and test fly this thing um, and show you guys how I actually calibrate the drone and everything for takeoff, but I'll probably do that outside and everything so you guys can see what's going on with that. And uh, you guys know how to basically get your drone operating and functioning the right way, you know? And this is the remote. You've tweaked the little arms, the antennas. Send them out. And when you open this up right here, that's where your phone goes. 
right up inside there. This actually retracts and everything goes up and down. Spring loaded. It's fairly strong too. Some phones you'll be able to put in there, but the case and everything, some of them you have to take out the case. So yeah, in my my case, because my phone has a little thing where it got the little peg on the back of it where it could stand up, I have to actually take my phone out the case. But mine's came with three batteries. All right there, one right there, and the other one's in the drum. So what I'm gonna do in a little bit, I'm gonna get ready and get out there. And I'll show you guys how this thing is uh, supposed to or going to operate. i never flown a drone before, so yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting. But stay tuned, guys, and I'll get back with you guys. Okay, right now it's charging. And this is what I was saying what some people was doing if they, you know, you know, someone impatient. So they go, you know, probably take it out, whatever, and see that it's green. It's still pulsating, though. And they figure they are good to go. But no. You have to take it. Redo it. See how I'm doing it? And put it back in. And it's finished charging, see? When it's done charging fully, the green light will be displayed all by itself. But it will be a steady green light. It won't be pulsating like it was before, like this right here. That's not how it go. It's a solid green light. That looks like that when it's done on its own. But like I said, take it back out, put it back in, and allow it to finish charging, y'all. And allow that green light to stay on, well, let's say allow that red light to go off all on its own then that's when you know it's fully charged. Do all your batteries like that with this charger. And unfortunately, that's how it have to go. Because with the other chargers that you may try to use, or the USB cables I meant to say, that don't have an indicated light on it, you won't know. And you'll be full, like I said, you go to plug it in thing and it's like that, you know, it's ready to go and it's not. Like I said, unplug it from the battery itself again, plug it back in, and then it finish charging. And you see for yourself what I'm talking about, when you go back an hour or so or whatever, however long it takes for the charge back. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Okay, it's green all by itself. I'm good to go. All right, take care. Okay, I decided to do the review over in my room. Just for the simple fact, that was kind of like a crappy review. But this is the 4D RC F3 Naki drone. <clears throat> and like I said, the one I got, it came with three batteries. You know, you fold out the rear legs in the back. You see, this is how they come. Fold those ones out first. And then you can do the other two. You can do the same on uh, each side. If you want to just do this one side, you can. Since I have the battery in here, I will take it out. Just in case some people is wondering, these are not like the other drones where you could press this battery and it give you a battery strength indicator. These are not the type of batteries that uh, you can do that with even if the charge is plugged up to it. So with that being said though, you just take the battery, you got the little connectors right there, that face down. So you push it in and it goes in. Now the joint is on. Like I said, mine came with three batteries. Got the battery pack. Here's a controller. These are antennas. And this would holds the phone. Part right here. See what I do to make it easy, I just take my phone, I line it up. See that? I just take it, push it in. And it's on there. And this is a Samsung Galaxy A20. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, I'm just basically going to go through the things with you guys. <clears throat> on how some of this stuff works. This is a charger that it came with. And it has a two indicator blinking LED lights to let you know when it's charging. It's really fully charged. I will give it, get with you guys with that in a little bit as well. And it comes with additional propellers. 
I tied the bag up since it didn't come in the little plastic uh, bag because it kept flopping all over in the inside. But there's the additional propellers. There's four of them. And so you guys see this for one side and the screwdriver. <clears throat> what this is for is that in the back, it's a hole. You press it and press down. Press the hole right here and press down. And that's where the batteries are. Four triple A batteries. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the drone off for the meantime. Just to say power because I am gonna take it out. It's gonna be my first time literally charging it all the way, flying it on the um on a fully charged battery. Last time I thought the battery was actually full, but it wasn't. <laughs> I found that out when my drone went down on someone's roof. I had to climb up there and get it, actually. They allowed me to go in the yard and get it. This is like at uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. It was getting dark, and I didn't want to get shot. You know what I mean? So I knocked down the door, hopped the fence, and asked them if it was okay if I go over there and get my drone. They said, yeah, it's cool. I'd rather ask for better safe than sorry. You know, I test in New York, man. Yeah, <laughs> everything is happening here, so unfortunately... Everybody stay safe with the COVID-19 out there. This come with two pamphlets and everything. <clears throat> this one's in Chinese. The one in English is like the first 10 pages, I believe, inside the pamphlet. But it tells you all the instructions on how to sync the drone and everything to the controller. How to get the little um, horizontal and vertical GPS sensor things going on for you. <clears throat> and everything like that. So that your drone can stay in sync. <clears throat> and just in case you want to fly it indoors, you can, but it's highly recommended that you turn the GPS sensor off if you indoors and just work on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz. Now that drone is 4K, it's um, GPS, and it's 5G. Um, it connects to the 5G network. So that way um, I'd be able to have like faster download images or like live, you know streaming so that, that'll work out okay now i'm kind of new to this this is my first drone only been into it for like a month or so but uh i'm gonna get right to it and follow the instructions on here so that way everything will be sweet and dandy but i know first and foremost you turn on the drone i will tell you that much Now I have went through this whole thingy, so. Okay, so next right there, I'll open up the Wi-Fi. But some people turn on their controllers first and do all this other stuff. But for me, I'm gonna open up my Wi-Fi because I gotta open the app as well eventually so I'm going to my connections I don't want that Wi-Fi call nope Okay, there we go. You see the 4DRC? That's what you connect right there. Most likely this is what happened. Connected with our internet. 5G. Okay. Now, once you do that, I got to turn on the remote control by pressing this right here, the red button. 
on that side. Okay, then I remove the controller up and down, right? Hold on, before I do that, yeah, press it up and down. Okay, so I had to the toggles move the left to down, then it tells you to do this right here. Okay, take both of them and click, click, click them down to the um to the left. Okay, so once I do that, it tells me for the geomagnetic calibration, long press the triangle. Which is right here. Okay, long press the triangle. And now I gotta take the front. Of the drone, you just spin it around, turn it to the right, like so, then point it down, spin it around a couple of times as well. I try to avoid touching the camera. Okay, now that I've done that, that's how typically you can sync it to the remote as well as to the um to the to the satellite. Okay, the satellite mode is default. Okay, so now power on the app. I'm gonna also uh, screen record as soon as I get the app on. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start my screen recording right now. Yeah, doing the countdown. <laughs> All right. So I will post this stuff on here as well. As far as um, getting to the app. Okay, for DRC, where are you? That's the for DRC app. That's how it looks. So you hit to go. I hit to go right there. I already did the up and down thing already. So I don't have to do that. Next. Come on, little bubble move. Okay. Because I already did it already. Same thing. Now initially, I'll just do it again, just to make sure. Just to make sure, because I'm going to be using my phone as well. The other instructions just sunk into the remote, just in case you don't use your phone. But obviously, you do it again. It's kind of odd. And there go the video for it. I'm going to adjust my camera and everything too on the drone, so when I fly, you know, I won't have any problems. So now this right here is my auto launch. I'm scared to do it, but hold on, wait. There's something that I'm forgetting, and I do know that. Okay, take the little thingies right here. Wait, hold on, let me see. Something else, I missed something. But I'll do it again if I have to, because it's blinking. Stop, stop, GPS mode. Push it left, right, operating rods, outward. Figure eight. Oh, no, that's an action. 
That did it. Why? Just why the first time I tried to fly my drone? Why this had to happen to me?